In this problem, we have a hypothesis test, and it says here it's paired sample data. So we have paired data. So that's when we're going to use paired in StatCrunch. So it says um, refer to the data set in the accompanying table. Assume that the paired sample data is a simple random sample, and that the differences have a distribution that is approximately normal. Use a significance level of 0.05, that's alpha, to test for a difference between the weights of discarded paper and weights of discarded plastic. Okay, so the first step is to set up the null and alternate hypotheses. So the null hypothesis is always mu sub d equals zero. Always, whenever it's paired. And it says test for a difference. Whenever you see that, it's just always not equal to. Okay, always. Whenever it says test for a difference, is there a difference, it's always not equal to. If we click on this, you can see, so what, what are the d's? If you do paper minus plastic, so 2.8 minus 5.92, you get a number. If you do 3.27 minus 0.63, you get a number. All of those numbers are called d's. The d's form a sample. They come from a population. That population mean is mu sub d. So for us to say it's equal to zero, it means that paper is equal to plastic pretty much on average. For us to say it's not equal to zero, it means that they're different, which is what the question wants to know. Is there a difference? So to do the problem, you click on this. And then you click on this little box and you click open in stat crunch. And it's stat t paired. Wow, it's a lot of data. Look at that. Wow. So stat t paired. Okay. Be really careful here when you're picking the data. So it says sample one. It's not household, right? Household is the name, is the number. It's the house you're sampling or serving. It's paper, plastic. Right, so don't don't pick household. Very easy to mess up. So paper, plastic, leave it at not equal to, and that's it. We hit compute, and then we have our test statistic and our p-value. So let's see, our test statistic at step two is equal to three point four four zero nine. That's good, and the p-value is equal to 0 0.0018. Step four is where we have to decide whether to reject or fail to reject our null hypothesis. Um, in this case, the p-value is smaller than alpha, so we reject the null hypothesis. Remember, if the p-value is smaller than your alpha, you reject HO. If it's bigger, you fail to reject HO. And then step five, we write our interpretation out. So we start by mentioning the level of significance. So at the 5% level of significance, and whenever you reject H sub zero, there is sufficient evidence. So there is sufficient evidence. to claim that. And then I guess the question is, uh, the, the last question was, the last sentence was, there is a difference, right? So test for a difference between the weights of discarded paper. I'll just say that there is a difference, that there is a difference. Right, if we reject this, then there is enough evidence to say that the weights are different. So there is a difference. So let's go ahead and answer the question. So it's D for the first one. Yes. The test statistic, they want two decimals. It's really easy to mess up in these problems, um, 3.44. And they're long, so if you mess up at the end, you got to go through it again. The p-value is, ooh, three decimals. Be really careful here. So this 8 is going to round that 1 to a 2, so 0.002. It's a really easy place to mess up. I've messed up there plenty of times. Um, since the p-value is less than the significance level, we reject the null hypothesis and there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that there is a difference between the weights of discarded paper and discarded plastic. And that's it. I hope that helped.